Hey guys, this is Jay Agone with Keepsakes and I'm here at Hobby Lobby Room B of Arcon 2019 here at J Center Convention Hall in Cebu City. I have with me our distinguished lawyers from the Young Lawyers Association of Cebu. Young Lawyers Association of Cebu and they will be discussing the laws related to hobbyists. Uh, okay, so before we be proceed, let us have them introduce themselves. Let's start with attorney. Um, hi, I'm attorney Christian T. Bacos. Attorney Mike Kubay. I'm Zeus Mabanag. Hi, good morning. Uh, Mark Avila. So, what is the Young Lawyers Association of Cebu? Um, it's a, a separate organization here in Cebu for young male lawyers. Uh, you become a member by invitation only and once you become a member you have uh, you have to have you must be below 40 to be a regular member and um, after you become you reach 40 after you reach 40 you, you become, become a senior, a member. senior member and then you don't have voting rights um, YLAP was uh, organized to help young lawyers be able to cope up with the rigors of a uh, law practice you, know, you do litigation and you don't you know what to do when you start first as a young lawyer and then so that was how it was originated so young lawyers can gather and then learn from each other and how to go with the uh, litigation practice that's how we started so uh, each one of us has a different um, specific or what you call specialized practice we are, we are celebrating our 40th year this December. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, so our purpose here, uh, uh, YLAP's purpose here at Hobby Lobby is to discuss the laws related to hobbyists, especially relevant to our council. Uh, attorney, uh, may we have a breakdown, a preview of what's going uh, to be discussed? Okay, um, Attorney Mabanag here will be discussing uh, intellectual property law, which is related to uh, cosplay and artists. Um, uh, do, are you allowed to sell stuff that you based uh, ca of characters you based on uh, existing uh, popular um, franchises. franchises? And Attorney Hubahib here will talk about the anti bastos law and anti sexual harassment law, which is also relevant today because of uh, a lot of reports of young female cosplayers being um, abused in certain cases so um, me and attorney Avila our president of the Young Lawyers Association of Cebu will will also help with the uh, uh, during the open forum All right. Yes, Bob. Yeah, basically, with regard to the intellectual property in specific, we're just gonna discuss about maybe copyright and then touch about a little about trademark. So, artists and those who are entrepreneurs uh, involved in in this activity can uh, help protect their intellectual property rights. Right. Okay. So that is interesting, especially uh, we have cases of. Um, yung mga, there's this recent case about a popular brand selling uh, art uh, artworks, artworks coming uh, from merchandise coming from a certain artist. Fan, this is a fan artist, if yes. I'm not mistaken. So that will be discussed in detail later on uh, in this uh, panel discussion. Panel discussion. Po, ano po. Ayan. So it, it can be an open forum, so we can you know um, make it more applicable to the audience. If they have a problem, and then we can discuss it op openly. No. Right. Uh, okay, so I guess that's about it. Uh, Young Lawyers Association of Cebu, where can we find you online? Facebook well, only. <laughs> we have a Facebook presence. We have a Facebook page, the Young Lawyers Association of so Cebu. So we're just going to search Young Lawyers Association yes. of Cebu. Okay. All right. Okay. So that will be it for the segment on the Young Lawyers Association of Cebu. So our speaker for today is going to be Attorney Zeus Mabanad. Mabanad. He's a current legal counsel of ALU PUCP and former associate from Ong Bagay Villamor Fabiosa Law Firm. We are the leading intellectual property law practitioner here in Cebu and will discuss about copyright law and other related laws about intellectual property law. So let's give a round of applause to our Thank you very much for the yeah. So intellectual property is any intangible thing you know, that your mind can conceive. Even dream, um, ideas, 
that's uh, the concepts are considered intellectual property in general. You know, anything that your mind can conceive. Um, when you say intellectual property rights, it's those intellectual properties that the law has offered protection, meaning um, mga bisaya, kasi ka mga bisaya? Okay, oh, pero uh, may Tagalog. So, may Tagalog. Pero okay na mo, Anyway, so, when you say intellectual property rights, it pertains to those intellectual properties that the law offers protection, like trademark. Trademark pertains to, um, like for example, um, Levi's, no? Penguin, it's a, or Nike, those what you call trademark. It's a source identifier. It identifies certain products. It identifies goodwill. Like for example, if you have a shop name, and if it's unique, uh, it's not generic, then uh, that you can consider as a trademark for your shop, right? Um, people, if, if your shop becomes known to be a seller of good uh, products, may quality, talaga, and then your shop name can be attributed to us, you know, as a reliable seller of stuff that's really original, not fake, and then maybe you can have it trademarked. So you can have several branches, franchises, if you want. So that's one that's part of your property. And then there's copyright. And then there's industrial design. Industrial design pertains to how certain machines are going to be given a look. Like for example, iPhone, no? may, may tatlong camera na ang iPhone um, Pro 11 or iPhone 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 lang yung dalawa. So that's industrial design. And then you have patents and then you have topographical circuits. So those are the, what we call the intellectual property regimes that are considered as intellectual property rights where our law offers protection to them that uh, once you generate such kind of work, you can have monopoly. Walang ibang pwedeng uh, gumamit other than you. <clears throat> of course, uh, ang attack doon, if you have monopoly, is that uh, ang iba is, uh, especially those who are advocating free enterprise, no? the idea behind it really about offering protection for intellectual property rights, especially pertaining to copyrights, is to inspire um, authors of work or yung mga artists to generate works of art no? because they devote their time and effort into producing certain work of art that people can enjoy and then in return wala silang mano. So if you do not give incentive to them in in trying to do works of art, then art will will go down. Parang mawawala siya. Uh, for inventors, if you do not give them the incentive of having a monopoly to have a monopoly in certain uh, economic um, activity on what they have invented, pag hindi mo sila binigyan, hindi, hindi rin sila mag... We, we won't have innovation in the long run. Kasi there's no incentive to to doing certain things and then walang return sa'yo. Disney relies heavily on copyright. Their merchandise, no? like they have until now if you see a lot of kind of mga Mickey Mouse, may, may mahal, may mura, but it's, those are still licensed under Disney. And then, if pag mula na yung copyright protection na yun, then everybody can just do this uh, Mickey Mouse. So until now, Mickey Mouse is still big as a market. That is why um, Disney lobbies the U.S. Congress to extend the protection, so it's now still extended. But at least in our jurisdiction, sa Philippines, no, kasi ang intellectual property, by the way, is jurisdiction, jurisdictional. You can have only protection. We may say jurisdictional. You can have only protection in the Philippines, and not, and not um, some other parts. If you want to be protected in the U.S., then you have to register it. But copyright, pwede siya because we have a what we call the Berne Convention. Pwede ka mag-ask ng. I just forgot if the U.S. But certain certain um, countries are signatories to the Berne Convention, then you can extend your protection and you can ask that uh, whatever protection you copyright mo dito can be extended to that con to that country. But other intellectual property rights is basically just uh, jurisdictional.
So, so far, kuha pa? Hindi pa, ano? Just, just to clarify yung sa what's that, that group thing. Um, basically, they still have to apply, but it's not as exhaustive as it was when they applied in their home country. Pertaining to what? Uh, so, in like, the, if, they ex- if they wanted to extend to outside. Yes, you can. Uh, you, you have to apply. Yeah, but uh, it's it's no longer as exhaustive as our. Initial. No, it can it can still be depending on the territory okay. the, the territory per that you are per country. So yeah. you have to whatever the requirements of the country that you're going to apply, then you have to comply with their requirements because. But if they're, if they're one of the signatories, would it be easier compared to the ones that have not signed? Okay, um, pertaining to copyright, uh, let's go district the copyright. No, how you how you can protect copyright. When you do, copyright is an ex, uh, offers protection to an expression of work of art. No? The moment you create the work, copyright already attaches. There is really no need of registration for you to be protected from copyright. The moment you write a poem, copyright already attaches to it. So you're already protected. That's why we, when we say, when you do a work of art, it's important that there's a purpose there that um, artists signs like Zeus and then they put a date. The reason for that is that they, they want to establish when they were able to create it, when they were able to generate the, that work of art. You know? Because copyright attaches at the moment of your creation. You don't need um, registration. The registration that we pertain to is just uh, what we call the deposit. When you come up with a, a work of art, so it is easy for you to prove that you are the one who was able to produce it or generate it. You deposit it with the intellectual property office or the national library. Before, it was just the national library, but now both the national library and the intellectual property office will accept your deposit of your copyright work. And then they will issue a certificate of uh, deposit or certificate of registration that you have indeed deposited such a kind of work to to their office. The reason for that is going to be easy for you to be able to prove that you were really the one who, who created that one on certain date. Right? Because <clears throat> in copyright, it's not impossible for two artists to come up with the same original work. It's who who gets it first. Um, it's not even it's not even about who, who, who gets into to it first there's no I may be mistaken no? but it's not really about who was able to generate it but as long as he can prove that he generated it on his own without having been able exposed to to that other person's work then both works can be respected as an original work both can be can can be protected with copyright. No. Um, question. Yeah. Uh, the, the issue there is, especially today, the, there is access to internet. How do you prove that? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. When when you test for infringement, and I think it's it's there. When when you test for infringement, when you try to see if one is gonna guilty of copyright infringement. Ang first, the first thing pa yung titignan mo is as the one who infringes has been exposed to the work of the other. So if you can, to your question, if you can prove that it's accessible in the internet, it's really it, it generated, it's a viral, and then maybe you can contend as a copyright owner that uh, you know you 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 probably saw this in the internet and now you generated your own. Can you use the internet as uh, evidence? Oh uh, yes. Yes, subject lang to the electronic evidence rule. You have to prove. I have to. Because you have to assist two persons can claim the same thing. Yes. yes. Two original works. Right. Ah. What about so, yeah. the Wikipedia also? Yes. What about derivative works? Hmm? Because derivative works technically, like the ones that you see in Argon are technically just derivative okay. works. Okay. Okay. Um, Derivative works under our law is still considered as copyrightable. So it's basically, if you do, like for example, if you're going to apply it here, when you do, my opinion is that when you do cosplay, you do the costumes, no? 
for me, that's actually a trademark infringement. Uh, no, a copyright infringement. Nah. But it's just that um, one, I don't know, maybe the, the like maybe DC, Marvel, I don't know. They, they, just, they just don't go after people who do the, you're right, nah, that's, that's a derivative work. Because it actually promotes, you know, you, you want to create a fan base, man. Diba? Even until now, Star Wars, uh, Star Trek, do not. They even, they even I, I think they even uh, organize mga ano, or they, they sponsor events like this. And that's where they can sell their merchan merchandise. And, and of course, they, if, if you want to be legitimate, diba? may pa mga specifications pa, mga, mga ganun, no? So, basically, when you do your own stuff or you create something, that's actually, for me, that's a deriv derivative work. Deriv derivative work is still uh, considered a cap a subject to the copyright of the one who, who created. Diba? Kasi, for example, you put it like a, a manga comics lang, diba? It's just a drawing. And then when you really create the, the 3D thing, the costume, the that's 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 that for me. My opinion is that that's still a derivative work for me, diba? It's like an adaptation or a or you or, or a reproduction itself, diba? It's not even for me. It's not even a derivative work. It's it's really a reproduction of of what's been drawn and then you create it. So for me, that's 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 really a, a copyright infringement. But again, we have what we call as fair use, no? If it's like if you if you dress up like Spider Man for certain events, as long as you don't ask people to come pay you to see you dressed up like a Spider Man, I uh, I think you can still come within the purview of a fair use. You no, know? see, um, the number one consideration is the character of use naman sa fair use. You no, know? how how you use it? Is it for commercial purposes or and and especially. The effect of your use can creates a what you call parang nilimit mo yung um, the avenue for the original or the the owner the copyright owner to be parang malimit yung pag profit niya. So again, those are the no, but fair use um, somehow is broad and I think it's going to be still expanded depending on on how social media is now going to be because there are a lot of like. <clears throat> For example, sa YouTube, diba? People just, if, if I want to be pag sumikat na po and I, I have problems already creating contents in my, in my web page or ano tawag doon? Yung channel mo, diba? Ganun. Ang gagawin ng iba is they'll just come up with those what has come out as a viral yeah. video and then just comment on it. They just comment on it like, ah, oh, reaction. you know, reactions, yeah, see? Reaction. So you have, because you, you are forced to keep on generating content for your, for your, for your channel. So, yung mga ganun, mag-reaction, comment lang. That comes within the purview of, um, fair use. So, then, okay. Uh, even in the, uh, uh, if, if you don't cover it, if, uh, the cosplayers or pop makers, use their skills and their ability to produce these uh, props and costumes and uh, profit from them, right? So that's... I, I, I didn't get what you mean. If, if, you, if the costume yeah. maker profits... Profits off their cre uh, the creation, which is basically their work of the original. So that's uh, pretty good. Well, as I said, yung pag, pag create pa lang, no? Out of the, you know, pag reproduce pa lang, that's, that, that itself is already a, a for me, is an infringement. Also, but, um, but so you, you can, maybe, maybe, although the law says, the law says it's not an infringement to, to do certain when it comes under the, the doctrine of fair use. But just for us to be able to understand, first pa lang, that's already considered as a appropriation of a copyrightable work. But you can just use the, the defense of fair use to say that this is not exactly infringement because um, it, it, it comes under the, 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 the purview of, of fair use. But Yun, if, you're, if your question is uh, pag, pag, if I start to earn money out of, uh, 
for example, I make props or uh, I make costumes for cosplayers, and then I sell them to these cosplayers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then, then maybe you're in a bigger trouble than yeah. the one who created on their own. Now, also, <clears throat> that also applies to cosplayers, right? To make their own costumes and then get hired by, let's say, organizations or uh, conventions to appear on stage or perform or promote whatever the event is. Then In principle, these, yes. 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 So these uh, cosplayers, um, they get hired, so they get paid. Yes. But they also profit them, so that also includes them. Yes. Kung nandun yung IP holder, tapos official cosplayers na, tapos pinagawa nila yung cosplay sa iba, wala naman siguro problema doon. No? I think it's consented in a way. What, what do you think about it? I think it's outsourcing. Yeah, it's parang outsourcing. It's parang outsourcing. Pin, pinagawa mo sa iba yung... yung... Yeah, pinagawa sa iba yung costume. You make the design, but you have other people manufacturing for you. That's outsourcing. Right? Yes, yes. So, yung tanong mo is it's oh, a uh, kumbaga do have implications there kasi nandoon yung IP holder, official cosplayer naman siya. And regardless of the costume. But is there a original work of a game, video game, is a video game cosplayer? But I I, I think what he's saying is a character from a video game then somebody uses that character as a basic basis for the cosplay or the costume, the official, cosplay ng official cosplayer which is Yung official cosplayer, meaning he's licensed by the company. Kung maga, uh, tinawag sila ng company. Tinawag sila ng IP holder. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Then, that's, 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 that's basically licensing or it's like a commission work. You, you, you are a dressmaker and then I'm I'm the one who created this character and I say, and I say oh, I, I, it's like, oh, can you please make a, 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 a 3D work for this? Meaning, yung talagang costume na, hindi lang siya sa drawing lang. And then I'm the one who's going. And I've, I've, I've basically given you a, 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 a license. Yeah, a, a commission work to, to, to do that. But, but you sa. But it's <coughs> to that particular undertaking. Okay. Yeah. That then you cannot mass produce it. Uh, unless you're given the authority to mass produce it. Diba? So it's a different thing when you do cosplay and then you just create your own, even if siguro magpa, magpa sastre ka, no? Para. To, to, to create your costume, but it's just your own personal use, you for own for your own viewing pleasure, sasalamin ka lang, and then you know because you really like you really like it, and then that's I, I think um, that can still be fair use. But when you start to profit, like for example, maganda saan ka ba nagpagawa? Sige, sasabihin mo na na okay, don't worry, I'll just take your measurements and then I'll I'll have something created for you, and then. And then you take orders na, and then that might be another story, diba? And then if you're a cosplayer, and then you get invited, and then you get paid as a professional cosplayer, I don't know if there's such a thing as a... Then that that, that might complicate things, diba? Unless um, you do it for free, or if if um, maybe siguro just to go off the record, no? To, to go around it, baka honorarium na lang, diba? Hindi siya... You, uh, it's not. It's not a. Pwede rin cash mo, basta honorarium lang, di ba? Transportation. Oh, transportation, transportation allowance, ba? In, inconvenience allowance, di ba? Ano? Yung kano na lang, but it's not really a come as a professional fee, di ba? Because when, once it becomes a professional fee, then the earning or the making profit out of it already comes into view, and then the copyright owner might say, "You're already milking on what I have." created. No, uh, just for clarification, just a traditional uh, point of view. What about uh, those who compete at uh, events? Those who are actually winning. Yeah, some even up. Uh, I remember correctly, it was, uh, is that right? Yeah, 38 for first place. Yeah, that can, this, that it can be if, if the if the <coughs> IPR holders would really enforce the rights. But uh, so only when they enforce their rights. Yeah, only when they enforce their rights. Okay. So basically, what I get is, it's uh, for uh, this kind of uh, behavior act, uh, action is tolerated unless the copyright holder enforces their rights. Yeah. So that's the only time it applies. Yeah. Maybe for the organizers, they can they can ask for a permission, no, ahead that uh, you know we we would like to. Have this kind of contest when they where they generate um, when they generate 
uh, or we will have some certain characters that uh, we will have a contest on costume making contest you know, who can create more what you call a more realistic copy of the ano um, what uh, events or events of the uh, like yeah liable for uh, this is the word for, uh, for, for, for having cosplay patronizing yeah could be cosplayers could for be. example uh, for say this uh, certain event holds a cosplay competition. So yeah, if, 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 if you're going to right? if you're going to pursue copyright infringement as a criminal action, then there's what we call the principal and then the accomplice and then the principal by induction. I think if I am not me or in, inducement, induction one, inducement, uh, inducement yeah. also. All of this is tolerated <coughs> because the copyright holder didn't enforce their rights. Yes, um, you notice McDonald's, Jollibee, they don't play songs na. That's uh, they just play their own, yeah. pa nakaloop na lang. Iba pero dati yeah. they just play like what yung yung kung anong radio station lang gusto ng crew yun na pato ano kung may kung may CD player kung ano siya sa sa salang ng crew yun yun na. But right now it's really just a loop, no? Before that was really pag nag-aral ka dati ng copyright ano, ano ba yun public pa yeah, is it a public performance? Napa ba bakit meron si Jolie Biro? malilito ka sa bus sasakay ka ng bus may naka mga video di ba that's that's really a, a copyright infringement in the sense but it is that ngayon sa Philscap ngayon lang sila nagsiseryos na ano like if you're, if you're David, David Salon you, you need to get um, license from us to, to be able to play certain songs so malalagyan ka na ng speaker in some branches ng JDP ayaw nang kumuha or nang I think the best example is that Christmas song ni Jose Lara Chan. Oh. Because right now, SM, some SM balls are no longer playing it. Yes, exactly. Jose Lara Chan is already asking royalty for it. Yeah. So it's basically the, the it's all in the, ano, one, if you get the attention already of the copyright um, owner. owner, then you must be getting big. But pag, if, if, if you don't get the attention and then you, you, you still have not made it. <laughs> Question, sir. In relation to two topics, so in relation to the World Cosplay Summit, so that's basically international national cosplay competition. Let's just say, so all of the rights usually come from Japan, most of the references, right? And then somebody from China manufactures the, the costume, including the props and everything, and then somebody from the Philippines orders the costume. So how does the copyright infringement thingy go there with three different countries yeah. involved? Um, it's still used by the by the you know by the one who uses the the one that's not licensed as a costume. And for me, you can be still be um, held liable for copyright infringement even if you're not the one who who, who made it. Yeah. You you just bought from yeah, yeah. from somebody. Yeah, it's it's still it's still use of a copyright you copyright for personal use only. For per, then okay lang. Okay, okay lang. But if okay you're using it for 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 it, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think. So we, 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 if money we isn't okay. Involved. Let's uh let's not let's let's give it um let's make it more specific para ano. If you're just purchasing it, no, even if it's a let's say a fake one because it's not when we say fake, it's not authorized by the by the live shop humble Disney it's not already Disney and then you know, no matter how genuine it looks it's, it's going to be considered fake because it's no longer authorized right? if you purchase it and then wala lang, you just purchase it just for your personal use wala lang. but if you start to like order 10 and sell sell if you, if you generate money out of it like reselling and joining competitions using that particular maybe joining competitions again um i think it would be in practical terms it, it would be hard i i, I don't know regards you know na, would a a copyright holder like japan would look at uh is this a license um costume or so if, if they, they enforce that how will they go about it are they gonna uh, that's going to be hard it's not really i i you have to go to court, but you, have to go to court. <laughs> uh, you know, it might, 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 
kanang search wa mga, ano ba search na eh. can you can you address and then let's let's see if it's going to be the tag is kana ganun na so i think it's just like when you wear a fake lacoste shirt or something uh, oh, then nobody can Yeah. So if I may, uh, if I may add in a question. Uh, since it happened in the Philippines, so the IT Holders Government has to have a representative in the Philippines to enforce that. Yes. Okay. So yes. In the end, uh, I believe that's part of uh, litigation. And, uh, yes, it's a matter of ano na. Um, okay, it's it's really hard to look for fakes. No? Yeah. Yeah. Um, It's really the, the reason why uh, IP owners, the frustration of IP owners is really um, the enforcement of their of their rights. It's, it's very expensive because the the investigation, the, the the research that you have to do is is costly. You know? like for example, um, yung dati yung mga software, you know, how certain Certain software when we try to enforce it. Ah, yung Microsoft before. Yeah, mga mga ganon, oh, di ba? You, <coughs> you don't know if the, what they have is um, um, is genuine or not. No, it's yeah, because it's very marami. Perbuti nala, di ba? May mga IP or if if they can generate already that certain IP, um, yeah, is it? The, the one running under certain IP is it genuine or not? Pwede na. But certain very expensive softwares, that's that's really more easy to 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 go after. Kasi pwede mong, for example, certain sabihin mo lang, can you open this? Uh, if, you're a, if you're a certain shop, can you open this? And then pag na-open niya yung certain program, malalaman mo na na Although you know that already that this shop does not have a does not appear to be registered under your wala sa registration and then it's able to open certain program that supposedly certain software can only open and then you'll know that uh, this guy is uh, using a fake one. I'll cut right to the chase. Okay? Uh, the more important issue now is our focus. What if? Is But if I'm an artist and I make products out of a certain copyrighted item and I'm selling it, then I find out that the ones I'm selling is also being sold by another person. Do I have a right to that creation and how do I enforce it? Can I just tell the, other, the third vendor to stop selling it or what legal protocols is there available for me? One, um, if if you're just creating out of a original work of somebody else, then you're basically infringing, diba? So you 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 don't have it, you don't have the copyright. Okay? You you don't have the copyright, so you don't have the right to mass produce or reproduce it and sell it. Okay? So if you don't have that right Then you cannot stop anyone from doing the same thing that as you did, diba? Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. But if 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 I don't have the copyright to produce this, um, if if I am not the copyright owner of this cap, no, then I cannot enforce others. Yes. To so follow. Yeah. So this happened to us because um. Yeah, I'm gonna leave to lack uh, further research and then uh, background checking on these uh, products that we bought from China. Mm. Uh, however, on day one, friends of a certain artist uh, came to our approach yeah, us, approached us mm. and then claimed that uh, this is, these products these items are, are based on an artwork. Are yeah, based on certain artworks uh, of a friend. Uh, and they insisted that they would uh, they confiscate, confiscate, uh, confiscate the, uh, the items. Are they allowed to do that in the first place, or shouldn't there be some sort okay, of Okay, um... Fan art. Fan art. Fan art. Like, it's not official. Yeah. Technically, derivative work lang din. Yes, yeah, so it's work of the original. And then they're selling... Uh, they're supposed to be selling it. Can you, can you be more specific? Like, um, I, I'm not... I'm I'll not, give you an example. Uh, 
Darth Vader. I okay. put flowers on the helmet. I draw some. I draw something. Then uh, sell the the the, 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 the pattern into a painting or a, a keychain. And I I am selling it now. Problem is the person who I asked to manufacture mass produce my work is also selling it to other people. You know, there is, so I have a right over the creation that I made derived from copyrighted. No, well, my opinion is no, uh, because I do not own Darth Vader. You know, um, I don't know the extent of because I okay, let's just put it more parang i step by step natin because I do not own Darth Vader, the character of Darth Vader. I don't have the copyright of Darth Vader. And then I, when I start to produce Darth Vader to sell, then I, I, I also don't have the right to stop anyone from doing the same thing that I am doing, like producing and then selling. Yeah. Okay. Even if it's if, even the if same I, design. all the more if it's if it's uh, copy paste lang si Darth Vader. So I got Darth Vader online, right? Yeah. And then I print it in a sticker, and then I sell it. Yeah. And then I see somebody else using the same design. Exactly the yeah, design. because what you have done is what you have really, um, misappropriated a business concept or business idea. Um, even if you made uh, uh, made modifications to the character, like for example, I made a flower, a uh, flower, or making a child version of Darth Vader, it's still Darth Vader. It's just yeah, because you know, I think you have already the concept of, of um, yeah, it's the same concept, same character. De derivative work, diba? So it's just alteration. Yeah, it's just basically alteration. In copyright, mis misconception kasi nang sa copyright. I am more I am more able to imagine in mga furniture. Sa furniture dati, in, 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 sa industry, sasabihin nila, yung ginawa namin furniture is like, we, we made it in a smaller, it's it's about different dimension. Oh yeah, something yeah, like that. Right. It's, it's a different dimension, mas maliit. That basically is still a copyright infringement. When you test for a copyright infringement, you actually look, you try to test it for the look, for the feel, and for the, no. If the impression that it creates is still, if I still get, no matter, pinalaki, pinagawa mo, ano, or ginawa mo siyang incredible look na Darth Vader, but if I still get that feel and impression that that's it's still Darth Vader, Vader then then what you may have created is still like a a a, a an alteration of a copyrighted work and it still be right so stage may meron siya sabing is kind of parang transformative na parang because you added so many new elements that it, it becomes a new one that it, it's something that you can already attribute as your own it's just based on a maybe an inspired um, maybe this might be a wrong a illustration, no? Baka <clears throat> from Spider-Man to Venom, di ba? Parang it's just basically Inspired, the same element na you know, crawling on the wall and kind of the same lang costume. Yeah, so for example, um, uh, Arrow versus Hylia Swami Code. Uh, I, I believe that's, uh, that's what yes, I Yes, yes. Yes. I think uh, what Zeus is trying to say is if you base it on law, the intellectual property code is strict, about, uh, you know, it's really strict about it. But the problem is it's the intent in the enforcement wherein copyright holders actually tolerate the uh, use of their creations uh, uh, for promotion of success. Now, I think that there is an exception to the rule, which is the fair use policy, meaning you you may technically infringe a copyrighted item for as long as you use it for your uh, personal consumption. Now, the issue comes in when that product that you use for personal consumption is being sold for your profiting from it. So, technically, there is a copyright infringement. Yeah, to the artist that created to the, to, uh, the The artist actually committed copyright infringement yeah. once he earns money from uh, There's also the uh, principle in law that you come to court with clean hands. Meaning, you cannot say, "Oi, that guy stole my idea," knowing that your idea was based on somebody else's idea. 
So that's where the problem is. Do you have actual right? What is the answer, Zeus? No, you answer it. <laughs> you actually have no right to enforce on others if you are not the only person who has the right is the one who has the right. Yes. Yeah. Now, in the process of application of the law, which is what happened yesterday, are they allowed to confiscate? No, because they have technically no right, but basic what, whatsoever. But they already took our merchandise. But yeah, we, ag we agreed to yeah. stop selling the oh. items. We took it down, we put it in a bag. In our but booth. they could not confiscate yeah. that. But they then, insisted on confiscating then, that. Because that's, that's already, I think that wouldn't constitute as a robbery or robbery, death. Robbery, actually. Uh, yeah, they actually yeah, so they, you can actually have, yeah. chase, you can actually chase them. Thank you for the clarification. Okay. You cannot, you cannot, uh, you cannot put... On an example, only Disney could enforce their rights. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pro-law enforcement. Yeah. Yeah. So a representative and lawyer... Even if Disney owns the product, let's be clear. Even if Disney was the one who came here, Disney cannot. They cannot just unilaterally confiscate something without a court order. Yes. You have to follow the rules. Even if you are the owner of the I mean, what if I, like, they did confiscate my stock, and then they were really insistent that they have the right to confiscate no, it, and I just okay, gave okay, it to okay, them. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, 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 let's go to the basics of the law. Even if you have the right, you don't have the. You cannot. Uh, in, you cannot put the law into your own hands, basically. Yeah, yeah. So, basically that's that's the so yes. So what happens is that you send a demand letter informing that you remove, you cease and desist from from selling the, these things. But actually, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot just confiscate it arbitrarily because I would be committing a crime. E, uh, okay, just even Gani, yung, even if you own the place and you just rent it out, and the guy's renting is already, it's not paying you. You cannot just ask the guy uh, to no, kick out and then forcibly leave them. If if they do not, um, if they do not leave when you demand, you have to go to court to be able to let them go out of your of your own house. No, that's how that's what we call due process. Okay. Notice, yes, yes. So it's the same thing, you know. Even if you see something that's uh, that's that's uh, uh, you know, then you have to file demand letter. Have to. So technically, what happened yesterday was Tokham IT IT version, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe they 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 would kanang mga bro. Maybe we, they would use the parang caught in flagrante delicto, mangganon ba? But but I would not tread tread into that. Parang parang you know it's oh here's what here's the he, there's a such a thing as we call it like ma civilian arrest, di ba? Yes. Diba? When, citizens arrest. Citizens arrest something like that. I I don't know. I don't know. But when you see a crime and then being committed against in front of you and then. then Maybe you can, I know, but that's really. If you're, the criminal also, if you're a criminal also, you can't just say, I, I will arrest you because you're committing yeah. a crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yourself is it's so committing a crime. Yeah. Excuse me, um, sorry, can I just, uh, what was the name? Uh, why not? Can we invite the people who actually took our merchandise? Yeah. And actually, that was the purpose of this forum. So nobody, so nobody no, 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 no. I, 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 um, okay. If, if you are into this kind of activities, right? No? Um, I don't know how you. I don't, I've been into mga furniture exhibits. What the organizing committee would do, because it's not far fetched that the exhibitors would have issues against each other. The next time you do, you do something like this. You come up with an arbitration committee. So or something. <laughs> so if one if one exhibitor has an issue against the other, for some re reasons, then then they'll have to channel it to to the to the organizing committee, and then the organizing committee will yeah let people sit down and then try to resolve the issues. Basically, attorney, that is what we call mediation. But, 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 but
Yeah. 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 Making it like, they go the other my one and I'm renting yeah. this and then or the, the the other this the exhibitor is obstructing the view of my of my ano matawag nyo yung space ko mga ganon ba di ba or if I have a complaint how can we protect ourselves as shop owners who basically are you know since most of us will think of profit margin we go to the next one thing. is uh, you get your Items from license. Other than that, other than that, other than that, I think what they're saying is, if you ask for a warrant. Oh, okay. You need you need a warrant to confiscate ah, okay. things. Yeah. But what happened, what happened yesterday was actually while you were committing something illegal, what they did was also illegal. Like robbing a house that is currently being burned by an arsonist. Yeah, it's basically like that. <laughs> yeah. And we will now move on to uh, the Star Wars. Yes, especially yeah, one of them is one of them because one of them is part of the five hundred first Philip uh, Cebu Garrison. Cebu Garrison. Yes, um, uh, Cebu Scarif uh, Garrison is a newly uh, opened uh, <coughs> chapter of the five hundred first Legion here in the Philippines. So every January we have uh, our Sinolog presence. Uh, we build uh, Star Wars floats. Um, in case people ask us why, why Star Wars and why Sinulog when it's a religious festivity, um, back in 2013 during Typhoon Haiyan, uh, a lot of Star Wars fans worldwide through the 501st Legion uh, contributed money for the relief efforts here. So as a form of thanksgiving, uh, 501st, uh, will always uh, join Sinulog every year in partnership with the Young Lawyers Association of Sinulog. Well, you were the first one to do it, right? When when, when did you start it, Gavin? Uh, we started in 2013. 2013? Oh, 14. Sorry, 14. Which was, no, no, I mean, the first one, but you were the only one who marched. Uh, before, in 2012, uh, it was just me. I was not part of the Legion back then. It was just me being a fan. And... Uh, things started from there. Then and, after, and you made the news, uh, no, Tony. You made the news when we we made the news when we built the first TX two two five, the assault tank used in Rogue One. Uh, we built it in twenty five days after the movie was shown, and people were shocked how we were able to do it. And, and from it rolled there, out. It rolled out in Sinulog. It rolled out in Sinulog, and from there. <coughs> We every year we come out with diff various Star Wars uh, vehicles. Mm. For for this year, we will be featuring the AT AT Walker. AT AT Walker. Okay, I AT AT Walker is one of a kind. Yeah, it's yeah. one of a kind. I, I think I. I think it's one of a kind. <laughs> so okay, we hope we to see you at Sinulog uh, 2020. Uh, we wanted to go big because it's the 40th uh, Sinulog anniversary. Mm. So we also wanted to make something uh, memorable for the for this uh, next year's uh, Sinulog anniversary. Right. So those uh, who are into Star Wars so much, and those who are coming to Sinulog, look forward to what the 501st Cebu Garrison has. Dagang salamat po mga bay. Dagang salamat. Okay, that, that will be about it. So, that will be for me, Jay Agone with Keepsakes. I'll be seeing you soon. Until the next update. See ya.